bringing new meaning to the term drive through window. Demolition crews take aim at the McDonald's restaurant on Irving Boulevard. From the former playland out front to the iconic Golden Arches, everything is coming down. It's not because business was slow. In fact, this McDonald's was one of the busiest in the Metroplex. It's the second highest volume restaurant in the Metroplex before we tore it down. So it, it gave, it made it a little bit harder on the justification of tearing it down. This restaurant, which opened back in 1973, will be rebuilt as a McDonald's unlike any other in the country. We're going to build the largest store in the Texas, New Mexico, Oklahoma area in the last 10 years. It's going to be one of the largest restaurants um, uh, that's been built by McDonald's in over 10 years in the United States. The idea to build a state-of-the-art restaurant came about two years ago after developer Delbert McDougall came in for some coffee. And he said, no, I, I, we're, we're looking to rebuild downtown Irving and, um, and, and, you know, make it a real new, neat area. And I said, you know, I, I said, I haven't really thought about it, but uh, I would be in for that project. This is exactly what we've been waiting for. The new restaurant will be one of the first focal points in Heritage Crossing, a plan to bring new retail and residential opportunities to South Irving. This is private investment that's being made because of the council's commitment to investing in Heritage Crossing. We're working hard to make this whole area better. You're going to see that. So I hope so. You know, Irving Mayor know. Herbert Gear stopped by the site to learn more about the nearly $3 million project from the owner. He's making a multi-million dollar investment uh, because he cares about this community and, and wants to be a part of the revitalization. This is investment that's being made in spite of economic conditions. Uh, this isn't to say that, that the economic conditions that have sort of slowed progress are over. This is the momentum was so great for this project that it is defying the, the, the down economy. The whole heritage uh, project I think is an outstanding thing and uh, we're real excited to be part of it. In these early phases of the redevelopment of the heritage district to see these kinds of things that a private developer stepping forward willing to take a loss on his own business for a period of time to create something that's even bigger and better for our community. The building will sit closer to the street and have seating for at least 20 people. More of a park type atmosphere on the outside. Inside, in addition to these contemporary seating areas, there will be a play area unlike any other. We're going to have one of the neatest playlands ever put in a McDonald's. It has a real neat theme. It won't just be a toy in a box. Um, it's going to be something more like if you went to Rainforest Cafe or per se, or a Disneyland type feature. Um, there's going to be big trees and waterfalls and, and a lot of neat elements that are going to go into it. It is also being designed with the environment in mind. Outside, the glass and roof will reflect heat. Rainwater will be collected for irrigation. And inside... All the seating and everything and the decor, um, it's all made out of uh, recycled materials. With the demolition of the old restaurant complete, many can't wait to see the new McDonald's open and see what's next for South Irving. This has been a building that our community has interacted with for decades. And now it's going to be reinvented so that it reflects what the new expectation is for Heritage Crossing and for the downtown area. As the world begins to realize that we've got redevelopment opportunities available, you're going to see all kinds of progress. The new McDonald's will open in early October. So I just want to thank you, you know, well, you're on behalf of the citizens thank of Irving. Thank you all for, you know, supporting yeah. me. I've been real helpful. Yeah. Hopes are high that the restaurant that replaces this one will be more than a place for Big Macs and fries. It will also be a place that opens up supersized opportunities for the redevelopment of downtown Irving. We're real excited about being able to help the Heritage District kick this off.